You're watching News 10 ABC. An historic day in Boston as the Embrace Monument was unveiled, honoring the legacy of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. and Coretta Scott King. Dignitaries from around Massachusetts joined with King's family at the unveiling of the 20-ton statue on the Boston Common. It is the largest bronze statue in the country after the Statue of Liberty. The location of the memorial is steps away from where Dr. King gave a speech before 22,000 people in 1965. The memorial will be open to the public in early February. Happening tomorrow, local observances of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Day. The Schenectady County Human Rights Commission hosting a virtual event, which will be accessible starting at 3 p.m. tomorrow. The theme of the event is Paths to Change with a focus on health care as a human right and will feature a keynote speaker, music, and presentations from elected officials. And the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Committee of Troy Area United Ministries will host its annual interfaith worship service as a virtual only service on Sunday with Reverend Charles Barber, pastor of New Hope Missionary Baptist Church in Troy, preaching. This service will be available for viewing on Facebook Live at 4 p.m. More than 100 middle and high school students from around New York State are participating in an anti-prejudice conference. Siena College hosting the annual Students Together Opposing Prejudice Conference. Students spending the day studying the role music played in the civil rights movement and how it continues to impact anti-prejudice efforts today. Participants say these efforts are desperately needed. I know friends of mine who have never been treated fairly. They haven't been able to express themselves the way they want to um, and learn and do what they want to do in their community. So I wanted to make sure that I could have a chance to speak for the people who can. Organizers from the Anti-Defamation League led students through group activities, discussions, and action planning.